All right, welcome back to Soul Flow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. If you've never been here before, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you in advance. And click the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every time a video goes up on Soul Flow TV. All right, so Jamaican dad being sought in the U.S. for allegedly drugging and raping teenage girls. Multiple teenage girls who they say are actually daughters his daughter's friends so this story was ran in all major news headlines in the united states of america the story was also picked up and ran in jamaica and as i am looking at the jamaica gleaner i was surprised that they did not show his face i'm going to talk about why it was important to show his face at this point but listen to the story first so all right folks so every once in a while you find a cooking tutorial channel that really hits the nail on the head if you're tired of following these channels and the food never comes out like you expect it to come out because it's not authentic then switch over to this authentic jamaican channel that will cook the food and have you cooking the food in your own house like a real pro i'm talking about eat good tv the jamaica gleaner says New York police are still hunting for a Jamaican father, Dwayne Gordon, who allegedly drugged and raped three of his stepdaughter's friends when they stayed at his queen's home for a sleepover, according to a senior police official with knowledge of the investigation. Hear this part. The 41-year-old dad is accused of committing the criminal acts at his home in Queens between October 2020 and earlier this month. So he just got caught. He just got found out. Gordon was last seen on May 21st. Law enforcement sources told NBC New York. And you know, sir, NBC New York is a huge platform. The Gleaner has learned that Gordon attended a prominent high school in Kingston, where he represented his school in track and field and football. He worked for an international airline in New York. But he has now showed up, not showed up for work for several days now. Now check this out. They have all this information about this person, right? This person is supposed to be wanted for raping multiple young girls, right? Why are they not showing his face? You notice how vague they were about where he works? They said that he attended a prominent high school what's the name of the prominent high school gleaner why are we hiding these types of information these types of information are very important and they can actually lead to more victims coming out so why hide his face and why hide all this information that you've gone through the works to dig up only to give it to us vaguely the gleaner learned that gordon attended a prominent high school in kingston Say the name of the high school. He might have raped there too, where he represented his school track and field and football. He works for an international airline in New York. Say the name of the international airline he works for. He might have done the same thing there as well. But he has now not showed up for work in several days. Okay, one of the victims told police that she was given a white pill that made her pass out she was then raped the victims were all 13 years old according to the new york police department the accused reportedly hails from bull bay listen the accused reportedly hails from bull bay which borders saint andrew and saint thomas but there are no confirmed reports that he has fled to Jamaica. A trace of a phone call that he made to a friend a few days ago placed him in the Miami area of South Florida. <laughs> John, Jamaica is a joke. Check this out. Obviously, right? This man is heading for Jamaica. It, 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 come on now. Obviously, this man is heading for Jamaica. So, are you telling me that Jamaica news media, including law enforcement, 
are you telling me that they're that slow? This man's face should be all over Jamaica, all over the Gleena Star Loop. Why run the story and not put his face? They put a silhouette of a person with a red wanted sign and that's it. This man is obviously heading for Jamaica. This happened in New Jersey a couple days ago. He got found out. And last phone call he made from a telephone device placed him in Miami. <laughs> he's headed for Jamaica. And he's probably heading for Jamaica by land. You understand? Let me add some of business phone real quick. Now. Hold on there. He's probably heading for Jamaica by land. Why else would he be all the way in Miami already? Right? But no. They still refuse to plaster his face all over the place. Must y'all remember, must I remind you that recently there was a guy who was wanted for murdering his spouse in the U.S. And he has Jamaican background. And guess what? They couldn't find him for a long while. And his bounty went up significantly. I think it reached a million dollars. And they found him in Jamaica driving a taxi. And he had been there for a while. And the reason they couldn't pin him in Jamaica because he had multiple women. So taxi man are making money of whole heap of woman. So he was staying with all these different women from house to house. And this was recently. So obviously this man is heading for Jamaica, right? The, the accused reportedly hails from Bull Bay, which borders St. Andrew and St. Thomas. But there are no confirmed reports that he has fled to Jamaica. So they're waiting for a confirmed report. New York police released photos of Gordon on Friday. And they are asking anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers hotline 1-800-577-TIPS. Check this out. Even with posting this, New York police release photos of Gord. Go over to Jamaica Gleaner, please, and go look at the article. New York police release photos of Gordon on Friday. And they, and, and <laughs> they ran this information and they still did not put the photo up of the individual. Now, I went and I looked up this information in the U.S. space. Okay. Law and Crime is the name of this website, lawandcrime.com. And if you go on lawandcrime.com, you can find him there. Police looking for a man who allegedly raped three teenage girls at slumber parties. He's wanted for rape. And have you seen Dwayne Gordon is his name. He's wanted in connection to a rape in Springfield section in Queens between October 2020 and May of 2021. This person raped three 13-year-old girls on separate occasion is what the NYPD News says. This person raped three girls under thir or 13 year old girls rather on separate occasion and they're asking you to call nypd tips line at 1-800-577-TIPS they gave his picture they clearly showed his picture and it says that he raped three 13 year old girls on separate incidents at his home in the springfield garden neighborhood of queens between october 2020th and this month police said in a statement this area is just north of the JFK John F. Kennedy Airport. These rapes occurred at slumber parties and cops told law and crime. The girls were over for a sleepover with Gordon's daughter, said sources cited by New York CBS. These sources said that they believe that he drugged them. Just like the liquor girl said, she was given a white pill and she took it and she passed out. Now, your daughter is 13 years old. Let me end this video by this by saying this your daughter is 13 years old you would think she has the intelligence to not take a pill from somebody not knowing what the pill is especially another adult right then let's talk about this the sleepover tradition thing not doing it my kids will never be sleeping at anybody's house and i don't want any sleepovers at my house i always look at people funny when they want their children to have sleepovers some of these perverts they be looking at their children's friends. Mothers be looking at the, the, the son's friends. And fathers be looking at the little girl's, his daughter's friends. Perverted ass grown people. It's time to go to sleep. Everybody is in their nightwear. People over there lusting at little kids. I want nobody at my house for no sleepover. And my child is not going to anybody's house for a sleepover. 
Now, Gordon was described as a black man standing approximately 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing approximately 180 pounds, having brown eyes and short black hair. They said that he has a thick Jamaican accent. All right. I don't know when he came to America. I don't know what. Um, I don't know anything else other than this article right here, but I just felt the need to put this out because if he is heading to Jamaica, I don't want him there driving cabs for another five, ten years before they find him and raping and molesting on the island as well. Go face your charges for what you did or what you are accused of or what you are running from right now and take care of that. That's all I have to say. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about this one. And if you see this person in Florida, in because Florida is my state, this is where I'm at. And they said, law enforcement said his last phone call pinned him to be in the Miami area. Remember, he's from New Jersey. So obviously he's heading to Jamaica. So if anybody see him, Y'all already know what to do. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Talk to you later, man. It's SoFlo TV. I'm out. Peace. All right, my SoFlo TV audience, it's time to go lend your support again. Let me tell you the story behind this. So this is a 15-year-old songwriter, composer, producer, youth, artist. And this is his dream that he wants to pursue. And you know, I always tell my audience members, I say, wish good for others as much as you would wish good for yourself. Well, this is somebody's child. He's 15 years old, right? And I'm wishing good for him as much as I would wish good for my own child because I have a child that's a musician. If y'all follow my channel closely, you will know my artist who is T Viral. T Viral is young and he's doing a music thing and I understand the struggle and the journey to accomplish this and I'm, accomp and I'm supporting him so I'm supporting somebody else's child as well. Click the link in the description, click the link pinned in the comment section and go give this youth a chance. His name is Easy The Name, DZ The Name, DZ The Name, DZ The Name, DZ The Name. Thank you in advance. Coming from a bad place, oh yeah. Trying to be a better me just for you. But it ain't easy, it's hard to get used to. Money, my own business, I'm out.